it is a good thing that the annexation of the West Bank has not gone ahead. But suspending it with the implication that it will go ahead at some future point is not enough. It hasn't been taken off the table, as has been suggested in a couple of contributions in this debate. That threat needs to be lifted. Over the summer, I was contacted by over 400 constituents deeply concerned about annexation, uh, about uh, settlement building, uh, illegal going ahead. Those developments and what's happening in that part of the world are deeply of concern to people in the UK. I welcome the stand the government has taken against annexation, but simply stating that we don't approve of it is not enough. We must back up those statements. Mm. And <clears throat> even without annexation, as we've been reminded, the construction of illegal settlements makes the prospect of a two-state solution increasingly uh, illusory. And those who've argued across the House for a two-state solution do need to recognise the impact of continued settlement expansion on the prospect of that ever being feasible. The United Nations Special Rapporteur has rightly spoken of the two-state solution having, and I quote, become a vanishing mirage. That would be a tragedy if that was allowed to happen, because otherwise there will not be a peaceful settlement uh, in this part of uh, the world. It is shocking, I think, that Israeli demolition of Palestinian houses has continued even during the pandemic. Uh, there have been demolitions, as my honourable friend for uh, Sunderland Central reminded us, of buildings, structures that have been funded by donors in countries such as ourselves. And the UN Special Rapporteur has called on, and I quote again, the international community to review its extensive menu of sanctions to stem the move towards further illegality. That surely must be what we have to do. And I, I do want to put this to the Minister. We need to hear uh, from the Minister today, beyond hand-wringing and objections mm. to annexation, what action will the UK Government to address the continuing damaging illegality that's underway uh, in uh, Israel and Palestine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah.